In this screencast, I will demonstrate a quick method for masking objects on a textured background. Let's begin. Okay, recently I wanted to make a background or a wallpaper for myself, and I wanted to use a high resolution uh, textured image. So, where do you go to get those? Well, you can find them many places online. Uh, one of my favorite places is grungetextures.com. Uh, you, when, once you get there, you can go to the gallery and uh, take, a, take a browse. Uh, they've got lots of great uh, high-resolution textures. Um, that's where I got the texture that I'm going to put or I'm going to use for this screencast. So uh, let's begin here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go to File, Document Properties, and I'm going to set this to my screen resolution. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and zoom out on this. Oops. Okay, and I'm going to drag and drop in uh, my image. There's a nice texture here. And I'm going to center that on my page. I do that by going to my Align and Distribute uh, dialog box. I set it for page and do a vertical and horizontal centering. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I want to mimic like a uh, road paint. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. That looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do is uh, highlight this yellow rectangle that I've just drawn. Go to Object, or I'm sorry, go to Path, Object to Path. Then I'm going to go to Effects. I'm going to go to Modify Path and Add Nodes. I'm going to add 50 nodes around this rectangle. So I go ahead and do that. Double click it just to make sure I've got 50 nodes here, which I do. Okay. Having that highlighted, I'm going to go to Effects, Modify Path, Jitter Nodes. <clears throat> I'm going to do a maximum displacement of 6 pixels. And I'm going to have uh, these two items checked here. I'll do an Apply. And that's a little hard to see, so what I'm going to do is make that red. And you can see that it's made my edges, uh, well, basically, it, it jittered the edges. That, that way we do that, so uh, we make that so it's not so, so crisp. Okay, now, next step, I'm going to make this yellow again. And I'm going to rotate this. Okay, I think this looks pretty good about right there. Okay, and what I'm going to do next is, actually, I'm going to move this up just a little bit. All right here. Okay, we're going to select our red, and I'm going to select our calligraphy tool. And about an 8 for a width is fine. And I'm just going to make a few marks here about like that okay and I'm gonna take all three of these that I've just drawn we'll select them and we are going to do a combine so it becomes one image one shape I'm gonna select our yellow I'm gonna select our calligraphy path We'll go to path and we'll do a difference. Uh, let me make that red so you can see it. All that has done is burn some white lines through here. Uh, I'm just trying to make that a little bit more uh, imperfect. Okay, so I'll make this yellow again and we'll bump this about down in here. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in on this just a little bit. You see what I'm doing okay now I'm gonna take our image right click on it and hit duplicate and having that selected I'm gonna hold my shift key down select our yellow rectangle we're gonna to go to object mask and set okay by doing that uh, we've basically clipped off uh, the yellow past our image and we've brought the image or the texture through the yellow object. Okay. 
Now I'm going to highlight this and we're going to go to our fill and stroke dialog and I'm going to give this about a 2 for blur. I'm going to right click the yellow and I'm going to duplicate that to make that just a little bit more pronounced. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a logo. You can bring in just about anything you want. I'm going to bring in the GNOME logo, the famous footprint. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. We're going to zoom in here. And I'm going to take the footprint, highlight it. We'll go to our line button. And I'm going to put that in the center of our page. We'll close that down. And I'm going to move this down just a little bit. About right in there. Okay, now I want to make the gnome footprint yellow as well. Give that yellow paint look. So I'll go ahead, make that yellow, and I'm going to take our texture, right click and duplicate. Since the texture is already highlighted, what I'm going to do is hold my shift key down, select into the white here, and grab my GNOME logo. Okay. Now, I've got both items selected. It's a little hard for you to see because the, the hidden lines blend into my texture, but you'll have to trust me that I do have it selected. So I'm going to go to Object, Mask, and Set. There we go. I'm going to take our footprint, and we're going to give this the same, 0.3, Blur, and I'm going to duplicate this too. And there you have it. There's our new wallpaper. Now what's neat about this, I'm going to zoom in on these cracks here, and you can see that it looks like the paint is down into the crack. I think that's kind of a neat effect. And I've got some marks going through here to make it look like it's a not quite so perfect. And that's that's it. Let's uh, let's zoom in on this. Hit the right button here. And that's our wallpaper. So I hope you find a use for that. Thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.